YouTube. Welcome back, guys. Unknown here, bringing you some Destiny beta game play over on the Xbox One. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my thoughts and opinions on this game, what you might like and what you might not like. So before I get started, though, I want to give a huge shout out to Bella over at Playback Gaming for all the support she's been giving my channel for the past couple weeks. She just started her YouTube channel up just a couple weeks ago. So if you guys could take this time real quick, you could pause the video and go subscribe to her channel. I'll put a link in the description below. If you could do that for me right now, I'd be much appreciated, guys. Thank you. So for my thoughts and opinions on this game, did I have fun playing this? I had so much fun playing this, guys. I think I grinded this game out. I didn't really grind it that hard. I played it. I played a decent amount. I think I had work a couple of the days that this beta was out. Uh, for Xbox, it wasn't out as long as the PlayStation got it. Um, those those greedy bastards over at Bungie decided to uh, team up with PlayStation and um, get exclusive rights for their content over there. They kind of turned the, the cold shoulder to the Xbox community and uh, they teamed up with PlayStation, which is fine. That's, I'm just joking. I don't mind. Actually, I do mind. Screw you, PlayStation players. <laughs> but seriously, in all honesty, I had so much fun playing this game. When I first came over from Titanfall and tried playing this, I got really frustrated. It felt like the controls on this game were super stiff. Uh, but then after going back to Titanfall, I just realized that Titanfall is so much more fast-paced than other first-person shooters out there. It just felt like so... It felt incredibly loose to me when I tried playing that game. There's nothing wrong about the way that the Destiny multiplayer feels. Just the shooting aspect of it. It felt really controlled, like very Call of Duty-ish. Um, I wouldn't say that it's completely Call of Duty-ish. Uh, it feels very much like Halo games in different aspects, especially the sniping. Um, I haven't played a good sniping game in forever. The sniping in this game is just incredible. You guys are going to see me um, in some of these clips in this, this review here of me sniping. It's just incredibly fun. Uh, there's like literally no aim assist at all when you're sniping in this game. It feels just like Halo 2 and Halo 3. Um, I wouldn't say Halo, Halo Reach or Halo 4 because of the way that the sniper worked in that game. Um, you would snipe and then they would kind of zoom out. You couldn't really do anything as far as that goes. But I had a lot of fun playing this. Um, I think there's a lot of things that they need to balance out as far as competitive will go with this game. I'm not sure. It would definitely be a competitive game. Someone told me today that the only only Bungie game that has not been competitive um, or was not competitive was uh, Halo 1. And that was only because of, due to Xbox Live. It wasn't really out for that game. So they really didn't have a huge com uh, competitive following. When Halo 2 came out, that's when it all started up. But this game is backed by Activision and Bungie, so uh, this will definitely be a competitive game. I would say it's more of a force down your throats kind of competitive game though. Um, when, once the actual Halo games come out, I think people will um, jump ship from this game and head over there and play this. But I think definitely when this game comes out, I don't see myself playing much more Titanfall. Uh, Titanfall has run its course with me, so I feel like I'm going to be playing this a lot. The Multiplayer is not the only thing that I'll be playing about this game either. I, I really did enjoy the campaign missions were a lot of fun. It felt just like Halo. If you guys remember fighting against the, the grunts and the elites and the campaign missions, that was a lot of fun. And I felt just like I was playing Halo campaign in this game. It felt it actually it felt a lot easier though. I'm not sure if it'll be upgraded on a different scale once uh, the full game comes out or if you just need to up the difficulty. <clears throat> I think that's probably the case, but it felt just like when you're running through a uh, a Halo campaign mission. It felt very open as far as like the different like you know areas you could go to, and just the way that the, the maps and the levels are um, designed. It felt just like a Halo game, even for the multiplayer. Um, it felt like some parts of this game feel very similar to Call of Duty in the way that the the gun shoots, uh, the, the gunplay, ex apart from the sniper rifle. And you can see right here, I'm just having a good time. I'm playing with Seth Turbo right here, I believe. And I'm just, I don't think he knew what I was doing, but I was kind of just trolling him, um, <laughs> dancing around while he was getting swarmed by these different characters. And you can see this is a campaign missions uh, co-op campaign. He's getting bum rushed. I don't know what happened to that guy right there. He just kind of disappeared. But, um, but yeah, there's a lot of fun. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what this game is going to be like once you can unlock everything you can unlock in the full retail game. I think someone told me the max level you can get to is level 20. I do have some concerns with that, though. There's different subclasses you can unlock for the different characters. Uh, there's the there's the Titan class, which you can unlock. So uh, for the Titan, you are 
more of a stronger class, but you are slower. So you take more damage, but you're slower. For the hunter class, which I, you guys are going to see me be using in these these game clips here, you are more of a a damage dealer. So that's what you do for this. And then there's the warlock, which is a magic class. You can use um, different magic grenades, stuff like that. And um, for the different subclasses, I don't know. I I was never. I didn't use the other classes. I only saw what the hunters were. Um, for the radar, uh, the radar is just exactly almost the same as Halo. I'm not sure how that's going to be for competitive either. If you guys remember in the Halo games for MLG, they got rid of radar completely. So I don't think, um, I think um, for the the custom settings that they're going to need to use for this game, I think they're going to come out and make it so that there's going to be no minimap allowed for competitive play, which is fine with me. I think this game will be a lot easier. Because you, when you play this game, you notice a lot of campers. There's a lot of um, overpowered stuff that you can have in this game, like you see me using the supercharger stuff. When there's a lot of overpowered things in the game and it's really easy to die, you see a lot more people camping and the way to camp is to crouch in this game. I noticed in one of the subclasses for this game, but the Hunter class, uh, when you crouch, you go off the radar and there's also a upgrade for that, that if you crouch, you go invisible for a short period of time. So I don't know how that's going to be implemented into the game as far as the camping aspect goes. I hope, I hope, I hope that people don't play this game super cheap. I'm going to be really upset if they do. But overall, I had a lot of fun playing this game. I think you guys should definitely go out and buy it, give it a chance. Um, I'm sorry if you didn't get to play the beta and get to feel this game out for yourself, but I do really think this is a game you guys should go out and purchase. Once again, like I said, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you go subscribe to Bella just in case you guys have not done that yet already. I'll catch you guys in the next video, though. Hope you have a good day. Peace out, bros.